So this week we have the epic, I'm going to say it now, Miller and Carter. Whatever's changed over the last few years is absolutely brilliant. The burger, as you can see there, which you'll see a bit more in a second, is, I'd say by far, one of the best burgers um, I think I've ever had. A little bit in terms of the beef uh, fillet tails kind of was, was kind of just give it a little bit too much height, but you could easily take that out and have that separately. But the burger itself was was absolutely outstanding. Um, so it's 30 day aged prime beef burger topped with pulled beef barbacoa, tender slice fillet tails cooked to your liking, medium rare, onion loaf, monster jack cheese, special recipe burger sauce in a glazed brioche style bun, lettuce and tomato served with seasoned fries or salad and uh, beef dripping sauce and I had mac and cheese and upgraded to halloumi fries. The overall meal, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. The beef dripping sauce as you can see there, you'll see the mac and cheese in a minute, the fries and the halloumi fries. Everything could have been done with being a little bit warmer but it was a bit of a distance. I think it was over three miles um, to get from Woolerton uh, to my house. So that aside, I, I can't knock it. The only thing, 29.50 I thought at first, it was a little bit expensive, but once you saw, and you'll see in a second, the packaging, um, the way it was cooked, the ingredients, the flavours, even the little sauce you got with it there, you, I don't, I, there's nothing to, like, you can't knock any, anything off any of this, apart from, like I say, the, the heat, but that's just the delivery. Um, the halloumi fries could have been, if anything, a little bit thicker, but they were wide as opposed to thick, so you know, same kind of difference, and nice little crisp on the outside. The fries, crispy spin, skin on rather, um, brilliant. But this is just outstanding. I mean, just to have the box, the way it kind of pins into the middle, brilliant. I don't, I don't understand why nobody else has done this. Um, Ohanas, Ohanes, rather, uh, they have very similar in terms of cardboard box, so they forget they're very close, but nobody i don't think anybody like you can see there nobody's had that and it's just such a simple thing to do um the sauces you get with it were nice a bit of a kind of a spicy mayo with it and the beef dripping sauce as i say if i've not already said it was outstanding a little bit salty but it, it was very nice uh the fries themselves i could say they were crispy they were like the best version of burger king and mcdonald's kind of together uh, fluffy on the inside, crisp on the outside. Again, if they were, if they had just come out, they'd be absolutely stunning. Um, I know I sound like I'm going a bit over the top with this, but like, I can't not. It's, it really is one of the best burgers I've had. You'll see there. I mean, even after a few bites, the burger was still stood up in a sentence. The bottom bun was a little bit sort of crushed, I think, with the weight, but that was just through the sheer weight of the meat. I, I, I'm surprised. I'll just say I'm surprised. I thought I was going to get ripped off and it would be one of these, you know, you see the reviews here as well um, that I thought I'd just add in. They're all 4.5s. So there's one kind of a poor rating, 1,600 odd reviews on TripAdvisor. It's, it's brilliant. Like, it's absolutely brilliant. I know people say it's too expensive in terms of steak and you can pay a hell of, you can pay nearly double what I paid for steaks. Um, but you're getting what you pay for. It's, there's nothing, what else can I say? The burger amazing the dripping sauce beef dripping sauce amazing um the beef tails the fillet tails absolutely stunning a little bit kind of maybe too much in the sense of the burger already is enough the onion loaf you know you take it or leave it that it kind of didn't really add that much to it but it added a, a kind of a subtle onion flavor which i think is, is far better than raw onion lettuce tomato and uh burger sauce which is similar to kind of a mcdonald's burger sauce the bottom bun got a little bit kind of squashed, I think, with the sheer amount of meat. But honestly, I, I can't knock any part of any of this. I had it medium rare, um, which I think, you know, medium well done probably would go too far in terms of the delivery as well. Obviously, the time to get here. But the, everything's just, <laughs> just outstanding. The, the combination of what they've chosen, the Montreal Jack cheese, um, the onion loaf, like I said, gives it a nice sort of flavour. Um, I think they've got caramelised onions or that it kind of ended up being caramelised onions on the top as well, which was really nice. I don't usually go for onions, but everything worked. Um, as you can see there, a proper burger kind of like broke off as, as I was biting it. Um, that itself, dipping the burger into the dripping sauce, brilliant. Um, 
standard little burger there and on a grill you know what else do you need from a burger uh the mac and cheese i haven't really said anything about that but the mac and cheese was outstanding nice cheese pull on it not too much um and again not too much of it to have a whole meal I, I did feel pretty full after eating all of this and yes i did eat it all um but the pasta was cooked well the cheese was uh like a, almost like a deeper kind of maturer cheddar whatever they put in it um so that was brilliant but the burger easily this place i, I can't give any less 10 out of 10 they're, they're brilliant. Twenty nine fifty, well worth the money, I would say. Anyway, try it. Honestly, try it. You won't be disappointed. Um, thank you for the views. Over 20,000 now, 72 subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. And hopefully we're on to the next milestone. Hope you enjoyed watching.